Hi, today I'm going to do a walk around on this 2009 Heartland Cyclone Model 3950. Starting from the front, we can see that the fifth wheel pin has been replaced with a gooseneck. So if we need to replace that and put a fifth wheel pin back on it, we can certainly do that. Up front, we also have a generator. Top of the line, Onan Marquee 5500 watt, which is great because that will run the two air conditioners that are installed in this unit. We have the battery compartment. There's room there for a second battery box if desired. Okay. We have a power awning, which is great. Let's look inside the storage compartment. Great storage in here. You can see the central vac system. Hook up for a TV. Okay. Three steps in. One slide on the passenger side. Second entry door that leads directly into the garage. The vent for fuel storage box underneath, electric rear stabilizer jacks. It's a toy hauler, so we have the cargo door, uh, two big, what we call scare lights in the back, ladder mounted on the side, fuel fill station. Oops. Okay. Another outside light, triple axle, and two slides on the driver's side, one in the living space, with your generator exhaust, one in the bedroom, and on the outside storage compartment, it's locked. All right, we'll come back to that. Okay, let's walk around and go back in the inside. Okay, as we come in the front door, here is your um, monitor panel and your remote start for the generator. A close up of that. Hours on the generator uh, 1055. And here's your control for your slide, for your power awning, for your roof mounted fantastic fan and the electric switch for the water heater. Okay, so we come in, we come into the kitchen. We have what some people call the breakfast bar right in front of us. Solid surface countertops. Okay, pull out spray hose. Nice feature to have. Okay, on the back wall, we have a Jensen television and our audio center. AV inputs, and uh, control for Sirius Radio if you subscribe. Lots of storage, clear story window, microwave oven, gas oven with three burner cooktop, eight cubic foot Dometic refrigerator. Okay, we have a little love seat in the corner, storage cabinets above. We have loft beds with privacy curtains for both. And we have a horseshoe shaped sofa as well with a table with removable legs that can sit here or let's see in the garage area uh, there's half the table and uh, there's not a setup for a patio in here with the table but there are two queen size bunk beds that can be raised up to the ceiling obviously to make the garage usable and there's a pull down screen so this whole room with its non-skid flooring can be used as a patio area. You could put an indoor-outdoor carpet if you want. Uh, spare tire. Combo washer dryer has been installed. Could have been a stackable, but there's extra storage. Half bath, which is wonderful. No window. Okay, let's go up to the master bedroom. Two 
few steps up. Okay. Queen size bed. Windows that open on each side of the head of the bed. Uh, we've got a good size closet. Unfortunately, one of the mirror doors is cracked. I don't know if you can see that. You can just see that there. And then the shelves. There's an outlet, no lie. And then six drawers to your bureau. And there's an outside camera, security camera. And then there's a spot, there's two cabinets, and there's a spot in the middle for another television here in the bedroom. And there's more storage. And then sliding pocket door. So this can be closed off from the rest of the coach. And there's the second roof mounted air conditioner just for the master bedroom. Let's take a final look. I come out of the master bedroom and I give you an overview of the interior of the fifth wheel.